Hello and a very warm welcome to Curiosity Hive. In our today's video, we are going to look into the NSO paper for class 4. Yes, these are the science questions for class 4. This is a sample paper for the year 2022-2023. We are not only going to understand the answers but also the reason and the topic behind the question. I'll read the question. If you want to solve it yourself, pause it after I've read the question and mark your right answer. Soon after which, I am going to discuss the answer with you. So without any delay, let's get started. But before that, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Curiosity Hive. So let's start the NSO paper for class 4. This is for the year 2022 and 23. It will have 5 logical reasoning questions, 25 science questions and 5 achievers questions in the main paper. In this sample paper, we'll just go through 10 questions. Here is the first question which asks, there are dash number of cubes in the given figure. You can pause the video if you want to solve this yourself. Well, to get this answer, all you need to know is correctly identify that cube is a two-dimensional square and not a one-dimensional square figure. So with that in mind, we will mark the cubes and the answer we'll get of this count will be option A, which is 8. The next question reads, find the next figure in the given figure pattern. Here is a pattern. We need to find this missing figure pattern. Pause the video if you want to solve. Well, if you look at the figure carefully and maybe take the first figure on the left top quadrant, you'll see in the next figure it has moved next block in clockwise manner. Third figure it further moves down again in the clockwise manner. And fourth figure it comes back to the left lower quadrant. So in the next figure it will be back in the top left quadrant. That means all of these images given or all of these figures given would be moving in clockwise direction and the final figure which is the missing figure will actually be the same as the first one hence the answer is option c let's go to the next question which reads in a certain code language if board is written like this and rope is written like this then pair will be written as which of these codes Pause if you want to choose your answer. Well, for my answer, how I solve it is first I write what board and rope signify. And then I mark the letters for pair which is P which is a 5, E which is at the rate, A which is percentage and R which is a hash sign. And if we match it, it is option D which correctly spells pair when coded in these codes. Next question. The given picture shows the developmental stages of a butterfly arranged randomly. Select the stage of its life cycle during which it is A is for most active eater and B is for least active. Click the right answer. Well, to explain, I would want you to understand the four stages of the butterfly life cycle. The first stage is when the adult butterfly lays a cluster of small rounded eggs on plants which later become a tiny caterpillar which is the second stage and in this stage the caterpillar eats its way out so it is the feeding stage and the only job that caterpillar has is to feed that means it would be the most active eater in this stage and the next one is the chrysalis or pupa stage where it attains a full grown size and it stops eating and enters into its chrysalis. So here it is the least active eater and finally it turns into a butterfly. So with this we can definitely get that the, it is most active eater when it is a caterpillar which is E and it is least active when it is a pupa stage which is option F. So based on this our right answer is option B. Next question in our science section is which of these illustrate sea breeze? Can you mark the right answer? Well, mark the answer if you know it. Well, let me take some time to explain how it works during daytime and nighttime. Daytime, what happens is whenever the breeze is cooler, 
that means it will move to the warmer place and since the land is warmer the warm air will go up and this phenomena is during the day time but in night time the land is cooler than the sea so the cool land breeze goes into the sea and since the sea has more heat it becomes warmer and it goes up in the sky as warm air so this indicates that the right flow would be option a i hope you have understood this let's read the next question in this science section which reads dash is an imaginary line that runs from north pole to south pole it is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees which of these lines is it well if you know the answer mark it but let us first familiarize ourselves with the lines now here you are seeing a straight figure but our earth itself is tilted at this angle so you can assume that all of these are also tilted at an angle of 23.5 now here you can clearly see that the line connecting north pole and south pole is the axis and the line passing through the center of the earth cutting it into two hemisphere is the equator another information is that the lines from north pole to south pole are called latitude and the lines running horizontally are called longitude and the middle line is equator and the line which passes through the center from the north pole to south pole is prime meridian but the question asks the imaginary line well the imaginary line is the axis so our right answer is option b Let's head to the next question which is about plants. This reads the food prepared by the leaves is used by the plants for their daily activities. The excess food gets stored as starch and dash. You have to choose the right part. Well if you know mark the answer. To give you a bit of a background or to refresh your memory look at this diagram. So leaf which produces the fluid or glucose it flows to the top as well as to the bottom to the stem and roots so the food goes everywhere in the plant so the right answer for this is option D all of these next question in our science section reads refer to the given conversation meetu says mummy please stitch a cotton frock for my doll and mother says show sure, me to she must be feeling dash wearing woolens in dash you have to choose the right answer which will fill the blanks well take the answer if you know now here if you understand correctly meetu is asking her mother for a cotton frock and her mother agrees mother says show sure, me to that means the season is summer and then her mother says that she must be feeling dash wearing woolens and dash now since we know that the season is summer if she is wearing woolens she must be feeling hot so our answer is option a so far it has been easy now let's take a look at our achiever section this is the first question here which is more analytical The question reads the given graph shows the amount of changes in the number of fish in a water body in a year select the incorrect option regarding this this is the graph you should read it carefully that as you go along the sleeping line or horizontal line the time increases and as you go along the vertical line or standing line it is the number of fish that increases now let's read our first option it says at time p which is here some factory was established near the water body that discharge its used water in it now if it's discharging its used water well the fishes will die so the number of fishes should go down which is not the case here so a is not the right option b says at the time q which is here the factory was relocated to some other part away from water body well if the factory was not there the number of fishes should have increased but in fact it is lesser down c says at time r which is here where there is a peak in the number of fish large amount of oil was spilled into the water body now spilling of oil is also equivalent to polluting it hence the fishes should go down but that has not happened 
So clearly, the last option which says that at time S, a new factory was established near the body, which shows a drop in the number of fish is the right option. I hope you've understood this way of reading a graph and then marking your right answer. Let's see another question in the achiever section, which is our last question of this paper. It says the given graph shows the distance between particles in three samples P, Q and R having water in different states of matter. So we need to find which of the following will not have fixed shape and which of them will not have fixed shape and volume. Now let me bring this graph here because I want you to look at this table I've prepared for you to understand the property of solid, liquid and gases. Here you can see that solid is where the particles are fixed and very close and liquid is where they are close but not very close. Randomly they are put but gaseous state is where they are very far from each other. So P which has the highest distance between its particles would be the gaseous state. Q would be the solid state which is the least distance between particles and R will be liquid state. Now from the properties if you notice so gas which is here takes the shape of its container that means it has no fixed shape and fills the volume of the container so it does not have a fixed volume so gas is the one which does not have fixed shape and volume so here we have the option where gas is under the y options and now let's look at r which is our liquid state now in liquid state it has a definite volume but it takes the shape of the container that means it does not have fixed shape but it has fixed volume so our answer of r would be under x so our right answer here is option b i hope this is clear and i hope you have understood the concepts behind the questions well i hope this was a beneficial video for you if you have any queries or any suggestions please reach out to us at any of our social media handles. With that, I'll take your leave. Till we meet again, take care.